Smash that like button right now or this jump shot is going to glitch onto your player in NBA 2K22. I wouldn't take the risk. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Chalk and you guys already know what time it is, man. I'm coming at you with yet another banger nba 2k22 video you guys already know the vibes now look in today's video man i'm going to be giving you guys the fastest and best jump shots in the game i know i did a jump shot video about a week ago oh brother this guy stinks i know i did a jump shot video about a week ago but i'm telling you guys right now i found out some new secret jump shots that are actually insane and today i'm running the cat out of the bag i'm gonna go ahead and put you guys onto the fastest and best jump shots in the game i'm telling you stick around because i'm gonna be going over some shots that you guys have probably never even heard of along with my custom jump shot so stay tuned for that all i ask in return is that if you guys are new hit that sub button man i upload daily nba 2k22 content it's elite videos that are gonna make you better at the game i also ask that you guys smash that like button it helps me out a ton and it's the reason that i'm able to daily upload the way that i am i appreciate all of you guys who have shown love also drop a comment guys i respond to every single comment if you don't believe me give it a try for yourself but without further ado let's get right into this action man now for this first shot right here this is probably a jump shot that you've never heard of and as you guys can see it's a lightning quick with a huge 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 green window this jump shot is set shot 25 guys set shot 25 is really glitchy i'm telling you guys right now it is one of the fastest jump shots in the game and it has the biggest green window in the game all right so it is a very easy shot to learn it's very hard to not shoot greens with it now keep in mind for this gameplay i'm literally on the random squirt with an ai player so i'm struggling a little bit i have two people one of the guys i don't know he has like a 15 win percentage and the other is a computer so i probably could have gotten this game done a lot easier had i been playing with actual people actual good teammates but i don't have a lot of people that play the game i don't have a lot of friends if you guys want to play with me drop your gamer tag in the comment section i need more people to run the game with but what i'm telling you guys right now is this jump shot is very viable somebody from my twitch chat told me about this jump shot and i was like nah there's no way i'm ever gonna put a set shot on but this shot is really money as you guys can see it's super consistent this was my first game on for the day and i was really not missing like i was making every single shot that i took it's very easy to find out it's very 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 consistent and it's something where you actually don't get contested as much as you think you would for a set shot like i'm running a set shot on a guard and it was really easy for me to get open and knock down my shots having a shot that has such a high green window is going to give you an advantage on your competition because if you get open you're gonna make it almost every single time even the whites go in that's the thing so it's like the make percentage is high the green window is even higher now jump shot number two an undisputably tested out fastest jump shot in the game the jump shot that all the stage guards are using is jump shot number three. Now here's the deal with this video guys, when you're watching these gameplays, this is my first time ever using these jump shots. Literally my first game. So this isn't like I'm going out here, playing seven games, trying to find the best game possible. This is literally my first game trying these shots. And the only reason I'm uploading this is because these are shots that you guys are going to use to have an advantage on your competition. These jump shots are so fast that as you can see, look, get a little bit of space, knock it down. And I'm telling you guys right now, as somebody who's only really ever used jump shot 98, these shots are very, very good. And it's something that I gotta look into using. I'm torn now. I don't know which jump shot to use. The thing about this is this is the fastest jump shot in the game. So anytime you have an opportunity to have a shot that's literally the quickest shot in the game, you're going to have an advantage on your opponents. The thing about these two shots that I've just shown you is they're, they're two of the fastest shots in the game. So if you get an opening, if you get a little bit of space, you're going to be able to shoot. A lot of times people will run these slower jump shots and it puts them in a position where, hey, you're not gonna be able to make as many shots because you're gonna get contested. You're gonna give up stupid stuff. With a shot like this, if you find an opening, you're gonna grade it. Boom, there's the opening, knock that sucker down. And I'm telling you guys, you definitely wanna lab both of these jump shots and give them a try because they're both very, very quick. The third jump shot, and jump shot I've probably been the biggest advocate of since it was discovered, is jump shot 98. Now the thing about jump shot 98 is you can never go wrong with jump shot 98, all right? It's arguably the most consistent shot. It's somehow, it's like the father time of jump shots. Every single year, it seems like jump shot 98 
is a viable option to use as a jump shot. It's very quick, it's very easy to find the green window. It's a great shot, man. Are there shots that are faster than it this year? Yes, there is. Are there shots that green more than it this year? Yes, there is. But I'm telling you guys, if you guys are somebody that's used 98 in years past, you can use 98 again. And 98 is just very easy to green. It's a shot that I would recommend. Really any of these three shots I'd recommend, but if you guys are a beginner, I wouldn't recommend the last two shots because they're so quick. Jump shot 98 is quick, but it isn't as quick as those two shots. So like 98 is a shot that I would recommend if you're somebody that's struggling, finding that green release window. It's very, very, very easy to green. I'm telling you guys, you're going to love using this type of shot if you're looking for something that's going to give you some consistency. Now, as you guys can see, these poor kids are getting bopped off the court. I mean, it's really bad. It's actually quite embarrassing. If you guys know these kids, send them the video and let them know that, I mean, if they're gonna double team, they gotta at least get some stops because this was just actually embarrassing. I feel genuinely bad for them that I had to put them away with this jump shot like this. Go ahead and talk custom jump shots. Before we do that, dribble pull up Steph Curry. Everything Steph Curry, that's how I do all my shots, okay? Steph Curry's really the easiest guy to shoot with. So if you guys wanna know my dribble pull up, spin jumper, hop jumper, all that good stuff, I use Steph Curry. Now, for the jump shot creator, every single shot that you use should be made in the jump shot creator, including the three shots that I just named you. You guys should be using those for your lower paces. Now, a lot of people wanna know about the upper release, but before we do that, you need to get into the blending and speed. Every jump shot that you use should either be on three fourth speed or full. The reason for that is, if you're playing this game and you're running it on anything lower, it's going to be very easy to contest you because your jump shot is too slow. The thing with this is you have to figure out which one works better for you. If you're somebody that struggles with full, put it on three fourths. Here's the pros and the cons to both. Three fourth speed opens up your green window, but it's obviously easier to contest because the shot slows down. Full speed is obviously harder to contest, so you're gonna have less contested jump shots, but it's a little bit easier to green and the green window shrinks a little bit. So those are just some things that you wanna keep in mind while making your decision on which one fits you better. Now for the custom uppers, to be honest with you guys, the main one that I use is pure Rudy Gay. I will run Rudy Gay, Rudy Gay on 100% full speed. I'm telling you guys, this is what I've run, this one I've had the most success with, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some other ones that I've used that have been successful for me. I've used Larry Bird. I think Larry Bird is a very easy one to find. Lonzo Ball, I know it's kind of ugly because he shoots from the side, but it's really easy to find that green release window. So that's why I've used Lonzo Ball in pass. Steph Curry, obviously the greatest shooter in NBA history is going to have a very easy to green jump shot. So his is not bad at all. I've also used Klay Thompson. I like Klay Thompson a lot because obviously it's very easy to locate. You want to use people who's easy to locate. If you look at Klay Thompson, you're literally going to like go right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. You're going to like go right there. You want to use people like that that are easy to find. You don't want to just like go out there and use somebody's because you like them as a player or you think they're cool. You want to use people whose jump shots are easy to locate the green window. Some other jump shots that you guys may want to consider testing out is jump shot eight, Stephen Curry, Dante Exum. Those three right there are three of the biggest shots right now. Exum has been around forever. Curry has been around forever. Another one that people really love, Ray Allen, obviously it has a crazy high elevation. That's a really easy to find one. And let me give you guys one more good one. The last one I'm gonna go ahead and give you and I'm gonna leave you guys with this one is Clay Thompson. All of those are very easy to green jump shots if you guys are struggling with the three main jump shots that I talked about in this video. These are jump shots that you guys should give a try to if you guys cannot have success with those. But I'm telling you, those are the main three that you guys wanna try for now. Now, for those of you guys who made it to this point in the video, you guys have made it all the way to the end. So go ahead and comment badges. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys an exclusive Sneak peek, I had the badge spread since you guys made it to this point in the video, but let me know in the comment section that you did. I appreciate it. So look, this is what I'm currently running on this build. This is the build that I posted yesterday. The best current threes and pro am build in NBA 2K22. I'm running Blinders Hall of Fame, Dead Eye Gold, Stop and Pop Gold, Mismatch Expert Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter Gold, Chef Hall of Fame, and the Spot Up Gold and Sniper Hall of Fame. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get four more badges when I finish college which is not that easy because I don't really like playing versus the computer, but these are probably the main badges that I would run. If I had more badge points, I would run Lucky 7. I would probably run Green Machine. Other than that, I would really stick to these badges and maybe if you wanna throw a rhythm shooter in, if you're a ball handler, go ahead. And again, if you're not a ball handler, 
catch and shoot will obviously work for you. Corner specialists, if you're in the corner, stuff like that. You need to use badges that fit your play style. So if you're not somebody, like if you're a seven foot center and you're watching this video, please do not put mismatch expert on because there is no mismatch. You are the mismatch. And that, my friends, is the end of today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that these jump shots work for you. And if they did, if you guys could do me a huge favor and smash that like button, guys, it helps me out a ton. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys that do. Also, drop a comment, guys. I respond to every single comment. If you don't believe me, give it a try for yourself. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch, and I plan to stream on YouTube very soon. So if you guys are not following me on Twitch, my Twitch is literally chalk. You see how it says chalk right there? You guys should follow me on everything. Why not? I'm a great follow. I got some funny tweets sometimes. You know, I post some cool pictures, all that good stuff. So look, I appreciate you guys for watching. And as always, it's your boy Chalk. Stay tuned for more, and I'm out. Peace.